So let's study the differences between a reversible process and an irreversible process. So the first point under the reversible process is a reversible process is carried out in infinite steps and every state that the system goes through is an equilibrium state. Now let's try to understand using the PV diagram. So this is the PV diagram, this is the pressure axis and this is the volume axis. Suppose I want to take my system from 1 which is given by V1 P1 to state 2 which is V2 P2. Now for an irreversible process I can take the state from 1 to 2 directly by compressing the gas fast by a single step. I will take the gas that is the piston cylinder assembly and I will compress it directly from 1 to 2 and I will get to the V2 P2 state at once in a finite time. But the fun thing is for a reversible process that is not the case. So for a reversible process in order to move from 1 to 2 what we need to do is we need to cover all the states which are present between 1 and 2 in this PV diagram. By this what I mean to say is consider this real number scale. So if this is V1, if this is V1 and this is P1 and I want to move to V2 and P2 then in a real number scale from V1 to V2 I have infinite number of numbers. I have infinite real numbers, I have infinite real numbers from V1 to V2 and I have infinite pressure, I have infinite pressures that is the value of pressures if this is 1 atmosphere and this is 2 atmosphere then from 1 to 2 in a real number scale I have infinite number of real numbers. So all these, all these possible combinations will have to be covered if you want to move from 1 to 2 by a reversible process. What I mean to say is you need to cover all these steps that is infinite number of steps in order to reach from 1 to 2 in this PV diagram to cover a reversible process to cover a reversible process now from 1 to 2 in order to cover all these steps you need to cover steps which are very close to each other so from 1 the next step after 1 will be very close the values of pressure and volume after this one step will be very close to v1 p1 hence the driving force between these two processes are nearly tending to zero hence it is known as equilibrium state such all such states which are covered while reaching from 1 to 2 are in equilibrium with the previous states because the driving forces are nearly equal to zero so this was for reversible process and for irreversible process so any process that has been carried out with finite number of steps is an irreversible process. To represent this in a PV diagram what we have is. So for an irreversible process if I want to go from 1 to 2 if I want to move from state 1 to state 2 I will have to move through finite number of steps. Either I can move directly from 1 to 2 or take some third part or take some third or fourth steps in order to reach 2 like. So I take some finite number of steps in order to reach to these steps are represented by V prime P prime and V double prime P prime in order to reach V2 P2 which is the final state V2 P2 are the final volumes and final pressures. So what we have is for reversible process for reversible process we can draw a line in this PV diagram but for irreversible process I cannot draw a line I can only draw these points because there, do there does not exist any further states in between 1 to this V prime P prime there is no such states which are present in between I directly went from 1 to this intermediate step V prime P prime and from V prime P prime I went to V double prime P double prime and then to 2 so I cannot draw a line but in the reversible PV diagram I can easily draw a line from 1 to 2 because I have all the intermediate steps that is the infinite number of steps all are present for a reversible process now let's move on to the second point so the second point says so it takes infinite time to complete a reversible process while for irreversible process it occurs at a finite time irreversible process irreversible process takes finite time to complete now let's move on to the third point so the work obtained for a system undergoing a reversible process is the maximum in order to explain this i will draw a diagram again so I have a PV diagram again, I have a PV diagram again which undergoes a reversible process from V1 P1 to V2 P2 to V2 P2. Now the work in this case as it is a reversible process so the work can be calculated by integrating the graph by integrating the curve from V1 to V1 P1 to V2 P2 that is this shaded area this shaded area in yellow color is the value of the work is the value of the work for the reversible process but for irreversible process 
the work obtained the work obtained for a irreversible process is always less than the work that is obtained for the reversible process so the work obtained for irreversible process from taking it to 1 to 2 from taking the step from 1 to 2 is not equal to is not equal to integral pdv we cannot integrate and find the work for an irreversible process but we can do that for a reversible process now let's move on to the fourth point so the fourth point says that reversible process is also known as quasi static process the reason is simple as i explained in point 1 so for a quasi static process or a reversible process from 1 to 2 i am compressing this system so what will happen is here v1 v1 will be decreased to a very small amount that is let me consider it as dv and p1 will be increased by a very small amount let me say that as dv so what happens is actually v1 is changing v1 is decreasing to v1 minus dv and p1 is increasing to p1 plus dp p1 plus dp but really in really it looks like that it is not changing hence what happens is for quasi static quasi means apparently changing but it looks like it is not changing this is what the case that is going on for a reversible process the system is undergoing a change but it is looking like it is not going a change and it is constant because of this expression v1 minus dv is very close to v1 and p1 plus dv is very close to p1 hence it looks like the system is stationary but in reality it is undergoing a change that is why reversible processes are known as quasi static process but for irreversible process so a irreversible process is not a quasi static process so example of a reversible process is a carnot cycle a carnot cycle follows the reversible process and for irreversible process so for irreversible process all real life thermodynamic processes are irreversible in nature so the last thing that i would like to mention is for reversible process the efficiency of a reversible process is always greater than that of the irreversible process the efficiency of the reversible process will always be greater than that of the irreversible process so these were the differences these were the differences between a reversible process and irreversible process thank you